What up guys, Real Touch Email here, back with your second Java tutorial. Today we are going to be learning about threads. Now threads uh, allow you to run threads at the same time as other threads. So that's useful for like movement and stuff like that. But we're going to use these uh, a thread today to create our uh, run method. So what we're going to do is we're going to say thread with a capital T. And then we're going to name our thread. So I'm going to name it just thread. And we're going to equal it to a new thread, and in the parentheses, this. Okay, so pretty much what we've done here is we're accessing the thread, so we're telling Java that we are using the thread. Then we're going to name the thread, which I named it thread. And that is going to equal to a new thread, and this uh, pretty much refers to this class, the main class. Um, so... You know, usually you would do like something like you would see something like thread equals thread the name, uh, but that's not how really Java works. Uh, you you uh, say what you're using, which is thread. You name it, and then you're going to equal it to a new thread. So that's uh, kind of like thread e equals a new thread, Except you just put thread in front of there just to know that we are using thread. And what we're going to do also is we're going to create a boolean. We're going to name it running. And we're going to equal it to true. Now what booleans are is they're pretty much true and false uh, statements. So if you wanted like a whole number you do int x equal or x equals like it could be whatever. But it's a whole number. If you wanted like a decimal you would do double. And it, and it could be like that number right there uh, but boolean is just a true and false statement so in the start event we're, we're gonna have to go ahead and start our thread so our thread so all we do is we do thread dot start and that's pretty much how you start the thread uh, so now in our running what we're gonna do is we're gonna say while we're gonna create a while loop while running so this is while running equals true. And remember, we started off to be true. So while running equals true, we're going to try. And we're going to catch an interrupted exception. And we're going to name it E. And nothing really happens in here. Uh, so, all right. So what this is now, um, so in the destroy and stop, we're going to do uh, running equals false. running equals false so pretty much when the uh, window is destroyed it will put running to false and uh, this won't be executed anymore same thing with the stop when you stop the window it will this won't be executed anymore so uh, so while running is equal to true it's going to try and do what's ever in here if it cannot it's going to do something in here and you can do something like um, if you know basic Java, you can do like something like system dot out dot print, and then you can do like error has uh, occurred, um, and that'll just show us down here that an error has occurred. But what we want to do is um, so that we should never get this, hopefully. But in the try method, we're going to do thread dot sleep and we're gonna do it for 20 so what this does it's gonna take the thread and every 20 milliseconds it's going to re, re go through this code here and it's going to re uh, do whatever is up here so we can have like you this is pretty much how like the step event in game maker so every 20 milliseconds it's gonna keep uh, going through what is in between uh, the while and this uh, curly bracket. So that's pretty much a basic thread here. Uh, go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe, um, go ahead and comment if you don't get any of this or if I'm going too fast. I'll make sure to slow down. But I think that's it. And remember you don't really you don't really need this here. I don't know if I said that already, but you don't really need this here. This is just uh, for me to know if an error has occurred. So yep, I will see you guys next in the next tutorial. Uh, which will be printing graphics to the screen. So, yeah, go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.